do that. I just got off the phone with Premier Notley, who's obviously not here because she is managing this crisis in, in Alberta. And I expressed to her on British Columbia's behalf, all the Premier's behalves, how willing we all are to be there to support Alberta in this time of need. Uh, one of the things that Alberta has asked of British Columbia and I think other provinces is that we offer our help on the social service side in particular. So for people who are finding their way to service centres to um, because they don't have friends and family that, who are close enough for them to stay with, they need counselling help, they may need health care assistance and other kinds of assistance. So we are um, right now beginning to identify how we can send some folks over to Alberta on the social service side to help people who are finding their way out of Fort McMurray, don't have friends and family and need our help. And um, we will be calling on um, social workers, health workers who'd like to step up and help to be able to go over to Alberta for a, you know, a five or a ten day stint at a time to support Albertans in that. We want to be there to support the people of Alberta in this nightmare time that they're experiencing. And for British Columbia, where we've got 48 fires burning, it's really difficult for us to be able to support uh, in terms of the kinds of firefighting resources that we normally would like to. But we can help in other areas and we're going to help with that and that call has just gone out now to our, to our civil servants to see who we can send across the border to support people in Alberta that need that help right now. This is the first thing on our agenda today as the Premiers get together in a few minutes to be talking about what we can do to support folks in Fort McMurray and Alberta. It's the number one thing on all of our minds and I think on the minds of all Canadians right now.